Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about the basic input and output function available in Python so that a program can get an input from the user or from the programs and it can perform some actions. Similarly, output function will be used to print or display as an output. So there are two built-in functions widely used for standard input and output operations. That is print and input. Let's see an example by writing a simple program for these two functions. Keep watching the video till the end. This is a fifth video of our Python programming tutorial series. Links related to this session are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more about something else, please leave your comments in the comment section and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. And you are watching LanityGuy.net tutorials. Let's get started. First we'll see how to use the output functions. As I told you before, output functions are used to print or display on screen as an output. Syntax to use this print function is print within the bracket and within the quote display message. This is syntax to use the print message. Let me write a simple program for this so that you'll be understand this much better. I use VM editor to write a program program1.py you could use double quote or single quote just save and exit from here and run the program the message what you have given inside the print function so this is a string whatever you have given within the single quote or double quote will be printed as it is let's declare a variable and we'll print that value of a variable strings should be enclosed within the double quote or single quote Now at this time, if you want to print a value of a variable, you should not enclose within the double quote. Then this will consider as a string and this will get printed as it is. So just remove this quotes. Here I didn't specify any quotes. If I specify quotes that will consider as a string and that will print as it is. This print function will check for the variable name in the program and it finds the value of the variable is lanity guide and it will print the value of name exit from here rerun the program you got the value of a variable name and it got printed if, if i specify the codes it is printed as it is Also, you can use multiple strings within print functions separating by commas. For example, Both are similar. It will print when I execute this program. The first line will print welcome to Lanity Guide. Again, the second line also will print welcome to Lanity Guide. Here, I consider all these are a different strings, but I have mentioned within the double code, then this will print as it is. It's up to the requirement we have. Let me run this. 
Here, if you see a bracket on the second print function output, basically the second print function syntax is not compatible with the current interpreter. So you can use the new feature like this. At, at the top of the program, you have to use this line from underscore underscore future underscore underscore space import space the function print underscore function. So the feature is a zero module which programs can use to enable new language features which are not compatible with the current interpreter by importing a function called print function. Just save and exit from here and rerun the program. So you got the same output. This is the difference of two print functions. Now let's see how to print along with variable value. Let's declare a variable name and the value of name is lanity guide. Let's see how to print a variable along with this print function. Print welcome to within the double quote. So this will consider as a string. And if you want to call any variable to be printed along with this string after the double quote put comma and the variable name and you know if I specify double quote what will happen both will treat it as a string and this will get printed as welcome to name so I don't want that so remove this double quote then that will consider as a variable and this will find the variable value lanity guide save and exit from here and rerun the program you got welcome to lanity gate welcome to is a string and lanity gate is a value of a variable name let's see another example x equal to apple So x is a variable and these are a string. So apple is my favorite fruit. Apple is a variable and is my favorite fruit is a string. So this is how we can use the print function to display the results on screen. Let's move on to input functions. So far we have seen a program like assigning a value for a variable within the program x equal to apple or y equal to banana we print that value of that particular variable x and y. On some cases we may want to take the input from the user. So we have a two basic functions which are input and raw input. Older python we have used input and it has been renamed to raw input in the newer versions. I just command this the syntax to use this input function is So this is syntax raw input within the bracket and within the enclosed code you have to enter your message to be displayed. Raw input will take the input as a string and input will take the input as a integer. Let's take an example. So enter a name space colon space. This is the message you will see on the screen. 
save and exit from here rerun the program enter your name enter your age that's it it has accepted and as i told you before on enter your name we have used raw input function hence this will accept both strings or any type of data types even i can give 34 on enter your age we have used the function input so this will not accept strings this will accept only integers this is why we are getting an error as this if i give the value in integer this will accept that is why we won't be use this input until we have a different scenario so it is better to use raw input on both the print functions also you can get an input from a user for a variable like this for example when you run this program this will prompt you to enter your name that value will be assigned to my name and if you enter the age that will assign to my age now I can use the print function Alright, just save and exit from here. Read on the program. Enter your name. Age. Your name is Henry and your age is 34. Let's see a different example to do some basic calculations. Let's take a input for two variables. First value to x and second value to y. Let's do some small basic addition or multiplication. Your final value is z set is a variable so this will get the value from this operation you are given the value first value x something like 10 and y value as 20 10 into 20 the value will go to z variable now if you print your final values z then this will print it as a your final value let's see first value i have entered 10 second value i have entered 20 now as I told you before, the problem with this raw input function is the value whatever you have given here would be considered as your strings and for the mathematic operations strings cannot be used that will use only the numeric values hence we cannot use raw input if you want to use the raw input then you have to convert the strings into the integers like this you are converting the value whatever you have given to integer value of x and y then that will do the mathematic calculations save and exit from here rerun the program so you got the value 10 into 20 is 200 Now addition. Your final value is 30. So again 
If you wanted to use the same raw input, then you have to convert this into integer for the mathematic operation. Else, you can use only input function. As I told you before, input function will be used to take the input as an integer. So, if I run this, you won't get the error. Sorry, I have to remove this. Your final value is 30. Because in this input function, whatever you have given will be considered as an integer. Hence, mathematic operations can perform. Else, you have to use the raw input along with the conversion type to integer. So far, I have shown you the mostly used real-time cases with the example. Hope you have got an idea how to use the basic input and output functions in Python. Write some basic program by yourself and give me the feedback in the comment section. Going forward, we will play with more programs. Thanks for watching this video. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.